Hello everyone, this is Youth Pastor LT and I'm back again for another beautiful word today. Today's message is sword. And I ain't talking about the sword that you see parrots have or the sword of the Bible says you live by the sword, you die by the sword, but this is a different kind of sword, what the word of God is saying. And I think everybody should listen to exactly what the word of God is saying about sword. Sword. And, and I'm not stepping on anybody's toes or feet today, but I'm preaching the word of God and what God is saying about sharpening a sword. And I know a lot of ministers might not like it, but don't get mad at me. I'm only doing the, work, doing the word of God, and I'm preaching exactly what the word is telling me to preach, and I'm going to deliver the message. So regardless if you love me or you hate me, I'm doing God's work, and I'm doing God's will, and that's what I'm doing right now. So all my listeners out there today, I want you really to listen to me and listen exactly what the word of God is saying about sword. And I know right now in the mighty name of Jesus, somebody could be jumping out there saying, say, man, Pastor LT has really delivered this message today. And I read from the book of Proverbs 27, verse 17. And it goes, as iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens another. And I'm going to start right there and just preach exactly what he's saying. It's saying one man should sharpen another man. And what that means, you have a lot of ministers out there today, and they take all the glory for themselves and don't realize somebody had to sharpen them up to become where they at right now. You know, they feel like they get all the praise and glory for because they got their own church now and God don't bless them with money to start their own ministry. They don't realize who helped them to get to where they get at. Then they see other ministers out there that's trying to get where they're getting at and they're afraid to let that person go on their on on pit bull and they pit and preach the word of God. That's what it means by sharpening your, one another like an iron. You have a lot of ministers out there. They take all the greed for themselves. They take all the pleasure from themselves. Don't realize somebody had to help them along the way as well. That's what I'm talking about. Sharpen your brother as an iron sword. That's what the word of God said. So if you see your fellow brother out there or your fellow sister out there and she want to minister and you know you got your own church and you're not allowing her to sit in the pit to preach the word of God, but you want to get all the glory for it, you in the wrong business, my brother. You in the wrong business, my sister. The word of God says sharpen one another as an iron sword. That's what the word of God is saying. And again, I'm I'm not stepping on anybody's toes or anybody's feet. I'm only preaching what the word of God is say preach. And I'm going to preach it. Regardless if you love Pastor LT or you don't. I am preaching the word of God and exactly what the word of God is saying. You have a lot of people out there get all want all the praise and glory for it. When when one person get gets all the praise and glory for it, that's Jesus. He deserves all the praise. He deserves all the glory. So if you're gonna if you're gonna be doing his work and doing his will, and you have another pastor out there that's in your church and you're not allowing him to preach the word of God, how are you sharpen him up? You trying to sharpen yourself up. And I'm gonna say that again. You have a lot of pastors out there that have big churches and you have more than one pastor. And that one time that you allow your other um, social pastor or that pastor preaching in, in the pit. So who are you sharpening? You must be sharpening yourself because you can't, you're not sharpening your own brothers. You're not sharpening your own self because the word of God says sharpen your own brother as an iron. That means give him a chance. Give him an opportunity. It's like somebody gave you a chance. It's like somebody gave you an opportunity. That's what the word of God is saying. And I just hope this message right here is getting to somebody. And I hope it's getting to somebody very clear. Because I tell you what, I know a lot of people out there that have their churches who got ministers. And at one time, have they offered Mr. LT to come preach to the youth. But you know what? That didn't stop me because the word of God is shopping me up each and every day. And I let all my listeners know right now, if anyone who want to share the word of God, I applaud y'all to go on YouTube and start doing your videos. If you want to come to Minister LT House and do a video with me, come on. I'm ready to sharpen you up because that's what the word of God is saying. Sharpen your brother as an iron sword. That's what the word of God is saying. So, and I just hope someone really listening to this today and really say, you know what, man, 
Minister LT is really preaching today. No, I'm preaching what the word of God is saying today. That's what I'm doing. I'm delivering a message what the word of God is wanting me to do, to um to deliver today. That's what I'm doing. And and it don't make no sense that you have all these you have all these people saying they they call to be preachers, but then you got somebody who want to preach and you scared to um offer him the job. You scared to let him preach one time. But you what you what you scared of? You think he gonna take you? You think he think he gonna take your spot? If you're scared of that, you're in the wrong business, brother. You're in the wrong business, sister, because the Lord, the, the word of God said the harvest is plentiful, but few workers. So if you get anybody called, say they call to be a preacher, and you're not letting this brother or sister preach the word of God in your church, how, who are you sharpening? You must be sharpening yourself because you can't be sharpening that person. If he's still sitting in the background and you're in the, front, in the forefront the whole time, sharpen your brothers, sharpen your sisters. That's what the word of God is saying. Proverbs 27, 17, you can read it all day long. It's going to say the same exact thing as what I'm preaching. That was exactly what it's doing. And anyone out here is still doing ministry like I am, if nobody's trying to sharpen you, though, I'm telling you what, your Heavenly Father God will sharpen you each and every day. I trust me, and I promise you that because he's doing for me. Each and every day, I'm putting videos out there. That's who's sharpening me right now. Because the people who you think going to sharpen you, they will not sharpen you because they want all the praise and glory for themselves when our Heavenly Father deserves all the praise and He deserves all the glory. That's who deserves it all. Not y'all, but He do. So if you don't have nobody to sharpen you up, He will sharpen you up. Trust me and believe He will do that. He's a man not to lie. He will give you everything that you need for your ministry. I promise you. And I just hope this message today has touched someone, and I hope this message have not offended anyone, but only preaching the word of God and what the word of God is saying. And I never like to leave without leaving with a prayer. Can y'all please pray with me? And it goes, Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into my life to take over so you can guide me and direct me and so you can build a relationship with you. And I believe right now in the mighty name of Jesus, if y'all pray that prayer, that God's already working on y'all behalf. I love y'all and good night.